Hey, welcome back to Jen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel, I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup. And today I have an update to my It's Painting Cats and Dogs Project Pan. This is a super fun project that was created with the Fantastic Ladies by Danny from Danny's Makeup and Deb from Deb B. And I'll have their channels and all the project information listed below. Um, Long story short, this has a list of prompts. You pick from the prompts and work on approximately six items at a time. And once you finish that prompt, then it's done and you don't need to roll that in again. Does that make sense? It's like elimination style. We'll go with that. Anyway, I'm gonna quit babbling. Um, the first prompt that I was working on was best of breed. I picked my Becca Brighten and Blur primer. Um, my goal was to use it 14 times and I have now used it 14 times. The starting weight for this when I rolled it in was 39.79 grams. The current weight is 34.45 grams. So I got a total of 5.34 grams in this project and 3.19 grams of usage since my last update. This is a beautiful primer. Um, I am finding though that in the winter, like dead of winter, I don't like it as much. I want something really hydrating and this is not that. So um, I also don't really like it a lot in the summer. So I kind of like this as like my transition from like grease ball to Sahara desert. Um, it's beautiful in the spring and the fall. I really, really like it. Um, Becca, unfortunately, as you probably know, is no longer in business. They only have a few products that were picked up by Smashbox. So I will be sad when this is gone, but I'm going to enjoy it until it is. So let's roll out number one. The next prompt that I rolled in was Siamese. And for that, I chose a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Kush. And um, my goal is to use this 20 times and I have, um, I'll try to pop the picture up of what this was looking like last time. It looks different because I had to kind of like scrape off a little bit and then kind of press it back down because it was starting to get kind of like hard pan feeling. Not necessarily that it was dried out, although maybe that's the problem, but um, my rolled this in, it weighed 13.52 grams and it currently weighs 13.25 grams for a total usage in the project of 0.27 grams and 0.18 grams used since the last update. So I'm happy with this. Um, it's maybe not my favorite. It's not one that I would repurchase, but it's one that I can see myself using until it's gone or until it's time to toss. The next item that I rolled in was German Shepherd and that was my BH Cosmetics setting spray. This is the BH Paradise Set Hydrating Setting Spray. I did get this at TJ Maxx. I have no regrets. I really like it. Um, the only like downfall for me is the spray nozzle on this is almost too fine where I almost feel like it's dispersing it too much and I'm not really getting a good like concentrated spray anywhere on my face. So I feel like I have to use maybe a little bit more of it than I normally would. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so when I rolled it in, we were here. At last update, I was here because I was actually working on finishing a different setting spray and now we're here. So I'm pretty happy with that amount of progress. Um, there were a few days that I didn't wear makeup, but I really could have, but I just didn't feel like it. So I didn't. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm guessing maybe like another two months of usage and I should hopefully have this prompt done. And then, um, oh, when I rolled it in, it was 123.59 grams, currently weighs 101.92 grams. So I've used 21.67 grams with 19.13 grams being used since the last update. The next prompt that I rolled in was ID tags. Um, for this, I chose my Makeup Geek Eyeliner uh, in the shade Gunmetal. And for this one, my goal was to finish it. I would roll it up for you right now, but I actually kind of broke it doing that earlier. Um, I was able to like poke it back into the component. So 
I'm hoping that I can get some more usage on it before I have to call it. We'll see. Um, this one, I didn't make quite as much progress on it as I was hoping to, but it's still not bad. So this is where it was when I rolled it in. This is where it is now, or this is where it was last update. And this is where it is now. Um, somehow though, I rolled it in and it was 4.52 grams. It's currently weighing 4.45 grams. So since last update, I only used 0 0.02 grams, but I've used 0 0.07 grams in the project. The only thing I can think is that I possibly weighed it without the cap last time. And if that's the case, I'll correct my totals on the screen um, because I cannot currently access the picture. Um, so hopefully that's correct. The next item is um, that I, the next prompt that I rolled in was Sharpay. And for this, I picked my Pure Submerge um, moisturizing cream. This is like overnight detox anti-pollution moisturizer. I don't know, I got a TJ Maxx. So when I rolled this in, it was 149.35 grams. It currently weighs 112 grams, so I have used 27.35 grams in this project and 12.8 grams since the last update. Now, last update, I thought that I could maybe get this finished, but it would be cutting it close, and it was. I was cutting it very close. This is not done yet. I have like one, maybe two uses left in here. So um, I am going to definitely finish this, but because it's so close and I know that I can finish it, I am going to go ahead and call this prompt complete so that I can roll in another prompt and have time to work on it. And then my last prompt that I rolled in was Cat Tree, and that was like an asymmetrical product. For that, I chose my Sigma lip mask, and last update, I did let you know that the packaging broke, so I had to depot it into this little pot. And um, for this one, I did not do the math before I started filming because I need to go back and look at some pictures and figure out the weights um, because I can't remember exactly how I came up with the usage weights that I did last time. I can tell you that um, when I rolled this in, it was 13.17 grams. Um, and that was after I got some usage on the packaging that broke. So that's where I need to do the math on how much actual product was used. It currently weighs 11.63 grams. I have made some progress in it. It's not as easy to see. I kind of backed off from using this a little bit. Um, because I had a lip mask that was like this close to being done. It wasn't in a project or anything, but I just kind of felt like I really wanted that for an empty for the end of the year. <laughs> I wanted it done so that I could quit losing it because <laughs> I kept losing it on my nightstand and in my bedroom. So um, that being said, we have the Super Shock Shadow and the um, Moisturizer will be rollouts so we can pick two more prompts. And then for prompt number one, Best of Breed, um, this was for my cat Chloe. So now I'm going to roll in my next animal so we can chat about my other lovely kitty cat. So let's pull up the Tiny Decisions app. I have everything in tiny decisions that I have not worked on yet for this. So let's pick two. All right, so the first one we got is domestic short hair. And then the next one, we got Persian cat. So I'm gonna go look up what those prompts are pick out the products, and then we'll be back to chat. All right, I am back and I have my products. All right, the first item that I chose is for best of breed. So I am going to tell you about my kitty cat Humphrey. <clears throat> Let me scoot over so I have room to show some pictures. 
So Humphrey <laughs> came along at a time when I felt like my house was full. Like I could not take on any more cats. But alas, he like wormed his way into my heart. Um, my husband was overseas. This is like a common theme with cats that I get. So I've warned him that if he goes overseas again for anything, I'm getting another cat, which he's fine with. So he was overseas and I left our home to go pick up my kids from school. And I hear like this sad, loud mewing and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And I finally spotted the little booger underneath the tree. I'm like, well, I got to go. So I got in the van, ran and got my kids and then came back and um, it was raining and he, he was still there. And we tried to coax him out and he would not come out. So I started trying to like slowly gain his like trust started putting food out for him and I, you know, started with putting it out and then going back inside and then putting it out and kind of like staying off to the side and putting it out and like itching closer to him. And no matter how hard I tried, he still would not let me pet him. And he was a tiny little thing. Um, eventually he started coming around with an older boy cat and, um, we called him Fat Louie, even though he wasn't really fat, we just called him Fat Louie. But he was mean and he would not let Humphrey eat. He would like whack him away. But then at the same time, he seemed to kind of be taking care of him. We're pretty sure it was his dad because he looked exactly the same as this other kitty cat. Um, but we never found mom. We never found other kittens. It was just the two of them. And... um <clears throat> One day we went to take my kids to the baseball park for practice or a game or something. And we get out of the car and I'm like, is that a cat meowing? Like there's never cats in this park. That's weird. And we go and we sit down and, you know, we're getting settled. And all of a sudden we see this cat, like this little tiny little ball of gray fur, like bolting across the park and I'm like oh my god I think that's the cat we've been trying to catch and I get closer and sure enough it's the little booger he had crawled up into like the engine compartment and ridden with us all the way to the baseball park so I left after the kids were done with their activities and I got a cage and um, some food because when I tried to catch him he would not come to me. He would not let me near him. He wouldn't let anyone near him. He was super scared. So tried the food, couldn't, couldn't do it. We finally got him cornered in this area where there was like a transformer and there was like a brick wall around it. And then like just one exit and some kids helped me kind of like block off the exit. And I was in there and we finally pushed him out from underneath the transformer thing and he climbed up the wall and I scruffed his butt and shoved him in the cat carrier. <laughs> so when we got back, um, I felt really bad and like maybe I had taken him from his family. So I let him out, but then he showed up like at our door and I opened the door and he just walked in. So I was like, congrats, <laughs> this is your home now. Um, but I put him in our bathroom to keep him separated from our kitties that we had at the time. And <clears throat> um, I was able to finally inspect his little paws and he actually did get burned. So I felt like he needed a little bit of time to heal um, before we decided what to do with him. And then he ended up getting very, very, very sick. Like he was sneezing up blood all over the place. So... We took him to the vet and the vet said he had like a pretty bad upper respiratory infection. So they gave us some antibiotics for him. So I had to coax him to take his antibiotics, I think like twice a day. He cleared up, but then he started doing it again. So we had to do a second round of antibiotics. So the kids always say that we saved him not once, not twice, but three times. So. With all that being said, what I decided on, and this was my daughter who suggested, 
I, I said, I don't know what to roll in for Humphrey that's makeup related. And she goes, what about something you saved? You saved Humphrey a bunch. What about that? So <laughs> I decided on my Physician's Formula Muru Muru Butter Glow Face Palette, but only the highlighter because the highlighter fell out of this after I tried to repress it. Um, it arrived broken from Ulta because nothing ever arrives in one piece from Ulta. I don't know if I just have like the worst distribution center, the worst mail person. I don't know, but nothing is ever in one piece. If I can pick it up in store, I do. So um, I was able to salvage what fell out of here. And I managed to save it and put it in here. I'm just going to use it as a loose highlight. It's really pretty. I was actually very sad when it arrived broken because it was like kind of my favorite part. But it's like a very pretty but subtle highlight. So um, my goal on this is to use it 10 times. Um, I would give myself kind of a loft, like a more lofty goal, but um, to be perfectly honest, I'm having surgery in a couple of weeks and I don't know if I can even do 10 times before the next update or if I'll even be doing an update in January. So, you know, I mean, healing is going to be my priority for sure, but um, I do still want to participate in my projects and I don't want to skip out on them completely, but if my only update is that there is no progress, I'm not going to update. So um, then I rolled in domestic short hair and that is um, most popular breed of cat, an item from your largest category. So my largest category is definitely eyeshadow, singles, palettes, you name it. I have too much of it when it comes to eyeshadow. Um, I've actually learned about myself that I really hate panning eyeshadow. I love panning every other kind of makeup, but I do not like panning eyeshadow. That being said, I decided to pull a palette that I actually have been very much enjoying lately, hoping that I still enjoy it. <laughs> um, but my goal is just to use this four times. So I chose the... Frozen 2 palette, um, the Elsa from ColourPop. And my goal is to use it four times. It could be if I reach into here for an inner corner highlight, a outer corner deepening shade, a whole look. I don't care. Each day that I reach for this is going to be one use. I need to be kind to myself and set a goal that is attainable because I hate panning eyeshadow so much. So... Um, goal on this one is four uses. I also rolled in Persian Cat, which is royalty of cat breeds, a product that makes you feel like royalty. Um, I actually struggled with this because all of my makeup makes me feel like royalty. Like I feel so good. Um, but I decided on the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. This is something I had my eye on for a while, but I didn't really want to spend the money on it. And then I ended up getting an Ipsy and I was like, okay. Um, but it's really pretty and um, I really do enjoy it. So my goal on this is to use it 10 times. Same rules as the Elsa palette. If I reach into it 10 times for the highlighter only, that's 10 uses. Um, if I reach into it one day for blush and highlight, that's still one use. But each day that I reach for this will be 10 uses. And is that attainable by the next update? I don't know. But I didn't want to put too many uses on this when I'm also picking a highlighter for the other prompt. I don't really have any goals for the next update. Kind of like my life. But here we are. Um, other than just progress. My goal for the next update is progress because I'm just going to be gentle with myself, um, not stress out about it at all, just enjoy my makeup until it's time for surgery. And then after surgery, just try to focus on self-care and getting better. That's all I got. So um, if you're participating in this project, leave me a comment below so I can go check out your video. If you're only participating on Instagram, let me know and I'll go follow you and check you out. Um, I thank you so, so much for joining me today. It really always means so much to me. Oh, and if you've not checked out Deb and Danny yet, 
I highly encourage you to. Danny is like a master painter. That almost sounded perverted. I am sorry. Um, and Deb just like always brightens my day with anything that comes out of her mouth. Um, and they have some videos together that they did. Like that's actually how I found them in the first place. I think how I found Deb. I'm rambling at this point. Check them out. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to see more makeup and beauty content for me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. <sighs> I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, you know what? It would be helpful if I wrote down what I chose and what my goal is. is. Oh my gosh. I think I tightened this too much. Oh my God. I need someone to save me from this packaging. Good grief. Okay. I also feel like I have a hair in my eye. Oh, I did. My goal on this is... Y'all, I almost lost it on the floor again. <laughs> if you like this video, I hope you'll give it... <laughs>